In the lecture, we will discuss moment and plate beam column flange connection. Moment and plate connection consists of a stiffened or unstiffened moment and plate consisting of column flange connected to the stiffener plate using 8 or 4 bolts which is welded to the beam. A specification for this connection is defined by AISC DG4 Design Guide 4 also called pre-qualified connection. It is a moment as well as shear connection which transfers moment as well as shear force. The scenario involves SMF beam column moment connection. The type of connection in RAM connection is referred as MEP DG4. The ETAPS model is already provided for the design of connection. First of all, we will turn off the visibility of the objects. Uh, actually, there was no live load assigned. So let's assign some live load here. For complete ETAPS tutorial, you need to check the link in description if you wish to learn ETAPS software. Now let's turn off visibility of the beam connecting to the web of the column as in this video we are discussing the beam column flange connection so it would be easier to extract the forces of our relevant members let's start with the new connection in the RAM connection our concern here is beam column flange connection As opposite beam conservatively you can uncheck this option that it has no opposite beam is the column ending yes it is a single story structure let's check the beam size the beam size is w24 by 84 The beam length is 24 feet. This section is uh, for the column is W14 by 53. Uh, let's add the load cases. The important load cases are those in the structural model. For example, we have live load and seismic load in x and y direction. So I'll be adding the load cases here and then these load cases will be added into combinations. But first let's load the structure with these loads as sometimes combinations depends upon the loading values as live load reduction and other things are important as well to be considered let's uh The unit should be in keep fit for the moment for the shear force and similarly here you need to click on US defaults. Now go to display for stress 
we'll be extracting the forces from e tabs and then importing or copying the forces to ram connections for the connection design of beam column flange the forces which we are looking for should be at the connection that are negative moment primarily that is 24 kips roughly kip fit moment you can take the volume value as negative or positive but here it is important to take negative as the moment negative moment has an important role in connection similarly live load flexure is also negative so it will be added into the dead load as combination so you can check the value of seismic in x direction is similar to negative value and the positive value but you can choose the negative value even if you choose the positive value it would be added into the gravitational load in combination as there is a negative combination for the literal load as well as positive so ultimately the critical combination will be combined effect similarly for eq y direction there is zero load now let's proceed to the shear forces at the connection since we are designing the typical connection so i am extracting the maximum force from the software but if there is large variation between the member to member force then you need to design the different connections or the group of connections for member having similar forces Similarly, I'll going in y direction, I'll be getting shear force, which is zero. And let's go to the axial force. Axial force due to dead load is zero, and zero due to live load. And zero for seismic load cases. And let's proceed to the ram connection software. generate the default design combinations and the load combinations have been generated for the defined load cases basic MEP extended both ways DG4 DG4 connection is always extended both ways while in the next video we will discuss DG16 there is an extension option whether it should be at top or bottom ok so there is only one option extended both ways since we are concerned in DG4 connection in this video while we will be discussing DG16 in the next video So currently there is a red color ratio 1.24 that is exceeding the ratio limit of 1 as well as it is in red color so the connection is failing. So we have to make adjustments in the connection to make the ratio less than 1. The loads and the combined forces are shown here. Design code and the design method is also shown. The members can always be changed from here. Conservatively, I am not taking the opposite beam. Thick thickness from the for the beam is stiffener. Variation has no effect on the stress ratio right now, so let's keep it the same. You can change the number of tension bolts to four as well as eight right now I'm taking as it you can change the plate material and the stiffness material stiffener material held size as a okay top plate thickness one inch thickness of the blade 
weld size from beam to the top flange at least take it quarter inches that is 4 by 16 making the bolts bigger does not pass the connection so in order to have the clue what is failing in the connection let's proceed to the results we see here end plate stiffener thickness should be at least of 0.47 inches so let's make the end plate stiffener as 0.5 inches as 0.47 does not exist in standards okay so now we have a point that's passed web belt strength to reach yield strength so what we're gonna do is we have to increase the weld size for the beam web connection and then check whether the capacity is changing or not weld size to the beam flange there are three types of weld beam flange top flange beam bottom flange and beam web weld so i'm looking from okay let's make it six six by sixteen there is three by eight inches thick connection so now we have passed the ratio of stress but there is still one warning connection does not comply with thick plate behavior you can ignore this for this video but should not be ignored in your project there will be a separate video to deal with this type of error when the connection does not comply with thick plate behavior it must be dealt in a way you will discuss in a video click on the link in description for complete RAM connection tutorial as well as e-types tutorials okay so I'm adding here diagonal stiffness stiffeners and see if the ratio turns green the ratio is still yellow that means that the stress is passed but there is some code compliance failure the beam flange does not fit on the connection plate we will be discussing the thick plate behavior as told in the other tutorial what I am being let's deal with the beam not fitting on the flange plate for that you can change the beam size or the column size however the demonstration was complete you can export the DXF views as well as the results in the word format